Hello there champions and welcome to today's session. Today we will be learning all about determiners in under 15 minutes. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Alright, so what are determiners? There are many types of words. There are words such as my, this, some, 20 each. Lots of variety we have in determiners. But you need to remember their purpose. Their purpose is to refer. Okay, one second. To refer and to quantify. Okay? So... Three things that you will remember about determiners which will help you recognize them instantly is they come before nouns, okay? They either refer to the noun, they tell you something about the noun or they quantify the noun. Matlab, aapko batayega ki kitna hai noun ya kiska hai ya kaha hai. So, different things like uh, where is the noun, how many of the noun do we have and whom does the noun belong to, okay? You remember these things, you will easily recognize determiners anywhere. Now, they, are, they can be classified into five main types. So, broadly speaking, you remember these types, but you don't really have to. Once you understand the logic behind determiners, you will not have to memorize the types. Okay, so you have articles. Articles, you know, A is and the is the. Now, we will see what is the difference. Kya hai. Possessive determiners, possessive means किसका है बताने के लिए ठीक है मेरा है उसका है तुम्हारा है उनका है जो भी है ओके सो माय योर हिज हर इट्स आवर देयर हुम इट बिलोंग्स टू डेमोंस्ट्रेटिव डिटरमिनर्स मतलब दिखाना डेमोंस्ट्रेट करना कि कहां पे है सो दिस दैट दीस दोस ओके क्वांटिफायर्स क्वांटिटी बताने के लिए क्वांटिफायर्स हैं सो सम अ फ्यू मेनी इसमें थोड़ा सा वो चक्कर आता है काउंटेबल अनकाउंटेबल नाउन का बट इट्स नथिंग कंफ्यूजिंग जब आपको समझ में आ जाएगा तो कोई कंफ्यूजन नहीं होगा ओके और इसमें आप एक नंबर भी डाल सकते हो नाउन से पहले कि 20 है 1 है 500 है जो भी है distributive determiners now distributive uh, distributors humne padha hua hai we'll do this in detail otherwise also but isme bhi bas yaad rakho to kind of uh, talk about things in a distributive fashion matlab each of these ya every uh, book ya every thing aur fir either neither both all half so whenever you have something and you're talking about it uh, Either referring to one in the group, जैसे each में हम जब each of us बोलते हैं तो us एक group है और each को हम use करते हैं group के specific members को refer करने के लिए, right? तो इसीलिए वो distributive angle आ जाता है इसमें। इसमें भी अभी ज़्यादा confused मत हो। This is just to remember. We will do this in a lot more detail. Otherwise, okay? Now let's look at a few examples of these. जैसे article के लिए हो गया, where's the newspaper? Newspaper is your noun here. The is your determiner. Demonstratives के लिए, do you want this bag? Bag is your noun. This is your determiner. This is her report. किसकी report? Her report. Report is your noun. Her is your determiner. There are some letters here for you. Letters is your noun. Some your determiner telling you the quantity of letters and Distributive mein all my friends came for the party. So friends mein se kitne aai? All aai. Aap yeh bol sakte te, none of my friends came to the party also. Thik hai, but now you've given the exact sort of amount of how many friends came. Thik hai? And it's distributive because it's talking about kitne friends. So is mein there's something uh, you can notice here. Ki my ko bhi aap bol sakte ho ki possessive determiner hai. Kis ke friends? Mere friends. Kitne? Sare. Okay, so ye sort of determiner ke peechhe determiner lag gaya hai. But just remember that this is also a determiner. Alright. So let's look at each in a little bit of detail. The hume pata hai kya bolte hai? The ko definite article bolte hai. Definite article क्यों बोलते हैं क्योंकि हम the उसी noun के पहले लगाते हैं जिसके बारे में हमें already पता हो so we use the before a noun that we are already familiar with that has already been spoken about or if it's such a noun कि everybody knows about it like a famous place or a monument okay so and see he threw a stone into the sea now sea is your noun here uh, we are Talking about a sea that every, everybody knows the context for this. Ki kaun se sea ki baat kar rahe. Isi liye we say the sea. Can I meet the principal of the school? Okay. Now if you are asking this to somebody. Obviously you are 
probably already in that particular school. So if you're saying कि can I meet the principal of the school? तो everybody knows that you're talking about that school only. आप किसी और school में जाके किसी और school के principal के बारे में तो नहीं पूछोगे, ठीक है? So it's quite obvious why we use the definite article the over here before the noun school. और इसमें देखो दूसरे determiners भी आ रहे हैं, like I threw a stone. Okay, can I meet the principal? So you can pay attention to those also, not just the ones that have been italicized. The moon was shining in the sky. Everybody knows what the moon is. Moon is same for everybody. Unless you're on a different planet, then you'll have different moons. Was shining in the sky. Sky is also the same for everybody. Everybody knows what it is. So we will put a definite article in this We are going to the cafe you told us about. Now because you've already told us about this cafe, which is your noun, that's why we are going to call it the cafe and not a cafe. Easy? Now one thing to remember is that we uh, do not use definite articles before proper nouns. Okay, that will be wrong to do it before proper nouns. But I'm going to show you an instance where this can be done. And uh, those of you in 10th, uh, you will see an example of this in Nelson Mandela Wala chapter with uh, when Nelson Mandela is talking about the different freedom fighters in South Africa. And he uh, makes the proper nouns a plural and adds the before them. Okay, what this means is history is not only the story of the Alexanders, the Napoleons and the Hitlers, but of ordinary people as well. This is a special usage. Just remember that this is a special sort of literary usage. This is not normal. Normally, we don't do this. We don't do this. But we are just using these names of actual people as stand-ins for other people of this type. Okay, so the Alexanders and the Napoleons can be um, representative of all the conquerors in history. And the Hitlers can be representative of all the dictators and the evil people in history. Okay, so this is a special usage. So this we have done that, just showing you an exception exception an example of an exception lekin normally hum log aisa nahi karte okay moving on a and now you know these are indefinite indefinite q because when you refer to uh, singular nouns for the first time then you use a or an before them a non vowel se sound se pehle or an vowel sound se pehle always remember sound pe jana letter pe nahi she is an honest person, even though consonant se shuru ho raha hai, sound kya raha hai, honest, vowel sound hai, isi liye hum an lagayenge. They bought an umbrella, he is a great friend, I am thinking of taking a vacation, okay? So here, honest person is your noun phrase, umbrella is your noun, great friend is your noun phrase and taking a vacation, okay? Alright, tell me what is the noun phrase that you will say that you have said 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 that you she is an NRI. Now, its usage is very interesting. You will say that this is a letter. This is an consonant. Why are you using an? Why are you using an? This is why you have to understand the sound of the sound of the sound. Listen to how we say an. An. It sounds like E-N. An. Right? Agreed? So, because E-N-N is starting with a vowel. E ka mene kya bana diya? Starting with a vowel sound, we use and before it. Okay? She bought a cup and saucer. Okay? Alright. Now, here you will, you might get confused ki cup and saucer to do cheeze hai. To humne q iske aage, humne to bola tha singular nouns ke aage lagate hai. A ya and. To cup and saucer ko hum single unit maante hai. Saath mein aate hai wo. So because both of these are acting like one unit. तो इसके आगे हमने अ लगा दिया, ठीक है? All right. अब हम आ गए हैं this that this that these those ये demonstratives वाले हमेशा उंगली दिखाने वाले determiners होते हैं इसमें मेरी हमेशा ऐसे उंगली निकलती है ये 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 so she owns these books. 
दीज हम कब लगाएंगे प्लूरल नाउन से पहले जो हमारे पास में ओके सो इफ वी आर रेफरिंग टू समथिंग दैट इज क्लोज टू अस एंड इज प्लूरल वी विल यूज दीज सो बुक्स यहां पढ़िए तो दीज बुक्स बोल दिया आई लाइक दिस सॉन्ग दिस हम सिंगुलर नाउन से पहले लगाएंगे दिस तब यूज करते हैं व्हेन टॉकिंग अभी हम अगर उस गाने को सुन रहे हैं या अभी अगर वो गाना बज रहा है तो मैं बोलूंगी आई लाइक दिस सॉन्ग वरना अगर हम किसी और गाने की बात करें जो बज नहीं रहा है विच इज नॉट प्लेइंग एट द मोमेंट से और फिर वही अगेन सो दिस का ऑपोजिट हो गया अगर कुछ दूर है तो दोज हो गया और दिस का ऑपोजिट एंड दिस का ऑपोजिट अगर कुछ दूर है सिंगुलर में तो वो दैट हो गया ओके दिस दैट दीज दोज ऑल राइट इजी था ये तो बहुत पॉजिटिव आप लोगों ने सुना होगा कि वो अपने दोस्त को लेके बहुत पॉजिटिव है इसको लेके बहुत पॉजिटिव है Uh, उसका मतलब है कि वो चाहते हैं कि वो सिर्फ मेरे पास रहे और किसी से बात ना करे तो आप थोड़ा बहुत समझ सकते हो इसे पोजेसिव का मतलब लेकिन इसमें पोजेसिव का मतलब है पोजेशन से पोजेशन क्या होता है व्हेन यू ओन समथिंग सो हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनरशिप अबाउट पोजेशन दैट वट एवर योर नाउन इज वो किसको बिलोंग करता है द वर्ड्स वी यूज फॉर दिस माई आवर योर हिज हर इट्स देर ओके योर डॉग इज वेरी स्मार्ट किसका डॉग योर डॉग माई डॉग कैन ऑल्सो बी वेरी स्मार्ट बट राइट नाउ एम टॉकिंग अबाउट योर डॉग देयर हाउस इज ब्लू इन कलर हुज हाउस देयर हाउस ओके सो माई योर योर कैन बी बोथ प्लूरल एंड सिंगुलर माइन इज सिंगुलर आवर प्लूरल है देयर प्लूरल है ओके हिज हर सिंगुलर है ठीक है ऑल राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इजी नेक्स्ट These are called ordinals, okay? Let me quickly tell you, ordinals है और इनका purpose ये है to uh, show you the rank or position of something, ठीक है So when you come first in class, the then ordinal is uh, showing your rank, okay? So she is the first girl from her family to study abroad. मतलब वो पहली लड़की है जो abroad study कर रही है So first over here before the noun girl is telling us her position or her rank or her number की she is the first one. I shall meet her next month. Okay, next, not this month. Next month. All right. These are all quantifiers, and these are very easy. ये वाले determiners बहुत easily recognize हो जाते हैं. Much, some, several, a lot of both, all, etc. There were some people at the beach. मतलब कुछ लोग थे बीच में. Plenty of people like go like to go running. Plenty, I mean, there are a lot of people like to go running. There is a lot of milk in the fridge. बहुत 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 सारा milk है fridge में. तो इधर भी आप बोल सकते हो. There is a plenty of milk in the fridge, or you can say the a lot of people like to go running. Okay. This tells you about the quantity of something. Now the uncountable, countable thing, few little that all of you tend to get confused about. We will do this in a lot more detail. But just remember that those are determiners. When to use, where to use. We will do that in a, a lot more detail in upcoming sessions. Okay. Just you can remember just as a hack for you, few and little. Always remember that these are before countable. and this is before uncountable nouns uh, as an example there are few uh, people le lo ya few bananas okay and either little time little sugar theek hai as examples all right this is your little cheat sheet we will understand this a lot better later now Each, every, either, neither, or either, neither. How we pronounce it? Rahul agreed with every word he said. So, word is your noun here. Every word, मतलब हम every single word that he said. Okay, that's why it's a distributive determiner because हम जिसने बहुत सारे words बोले and we are referring to every single word. Okay. Each one takes turns cooking dinner in the evening. Okay, each. One takes turns cooking dinner in the evenings. Either one deserves to win the prize. Neither of them came to the party. Di uh, distributive determiners. Me, क्या confusion होता है कि 
सिंगुलर कहाँ पे लगाना है प्लूरल कहाँ पे लगाना है सो इसमें आप बस लॉजिकली सोच के देखोगे वेन वी यूज वर्ड लाइक ईच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एवरी वी आर रेफरिंग टू एवरी सिंगल पर्सन इन दैट ग्रुप इंडिविजुअली दैट्स वाई वी विल ट्रीट ईच एज सिंगुलर सो ईच वन टेक टर्न नहीं ईच वन टेक्स टर्न ओके ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट वी हैव वॉट विच हूज एटसेट्रा ओके नाउ अगेन दीज आर यूज टू आस्क क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन कॉल दैम इंटेरोगेटिव डिटर्मिनर्स ओके एंड हूज कार इज दिस में आप क्या पता करने की कोशिश करो किसकी कार है ओके सो यू विल आंसर दिस विद अ पोजेसिव करेक्ट दिस इज माई कार दिस इज हिस्स कार दिस इज देयर कार वॉट आर यू डूइंग इन दी इवनिंग में आप पूछना चाह रहे हो कि आप क्या करने की कोशिश करो सो यू कैन आंसर दिस हाउ एवर यू लाइक विद वॉट एवर यूर डूइंग ठीक है दीज आर कॉल्ड इंटेरोगेटिव डिटर्मिनर्स क्वेश्चन में मिलेंगे आपको सो नाउ यू नो हाउ टू इजिली आइडेंटिफाई determiners uh you should just remember that they always come before a noun and they give you some kind of information about the noun okay it could be about their quantity or it could just simply refer to the noun tell you where it is placed etc etc that's that was quite fast but i think that was quite comprehensive isme jo choti moti nitty gritties hain jo difficult questions aate hain that we will do in a lot more detail but at least your basics of what determiners are what their purpose is and where they are used should be clear after watching this video all right okay thank you so much do remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our updates we have a lot more sessions and classes coming for you and i am looking forward to all of them so see you next time take very good care of yourselves bye bye